is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We're doing a full face of first impressions, which I'm super excited about because I love makeup and I love trying new things. And to be honest, this video went so well. I loved most of the products that I used. So uh, if you guys are interested in what is on my face, then keep watching. I gave you guys two lip options. So we have a darker lip and a lighter lip. Obviously wearing the lighter one right now. But yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I don't really know what we're gonna do today. I just have like a ton of products that I've been wanting to try for a while. They've been sitting in my drawer, so I figured this is kind of the first full face first impressions I've ever done. So I don't know, I'm excited. There's a lot of really cool products, so let's just get into it. So for foundation, I have this Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation, and I just picked this up when I was in the States recently. This is the Dewy and Smooth foundation because my L'Oreal True Match that I have been using recently is, it's not doing it for my skin type. Like, it's making my skin look extremely dry, so I thought that I would actually just, like, pick this up in hopes that it would be, like, a really good new foundation. And in the States, this is only, like, six bucks, I think? So I'm just taking this on a beauty blender, and I apologize for my roots being so terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm getting them done. Usually, like, I'm on point with my roots, but this time, I'm just not. So I was really worried getting this foundation that it wouldn't be the right shade for my skin only because there was like a lighter shade and a darker shade and they were super yellow and this one seemed to be like the only really pink shade i mean so far that looks pretty flawless it doesn't really look like i have anything on my skin i don't want to say anything yet because i'm like i don't even have half my face done but this stuff feels really nice like the application of it feels really good like i said my true match has been feeling like extremely cakey but i think we'll be able to give a good comparison once i get to my nose because whew, that's where it's like the driest right here's the nose by the way did i say the color the color is 115 ivory so verdict on the maybelline fit me it definitely did not cling as much as my true match at all like, I can see more of, like, a dewy finish. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. And it feels nicer. I don't feel like it's it's dry in that area. Color-wise, I really actually like the color. I think it matches my skin quite well. I love this foundation. I think I'm going to use this, like, as a daily foundation, to be honest. Concealer. I have a lot of concealers that I can pick from because I have been a concealer junkie for the last um, little while. So I have like a NYX one, a Maybelline one. I have two Maybelline. No, I, oh my god, I have three Maybelline ones. Okay, I just realized that I actually have the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I had absolutely no idea. So we're obviously going to use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Um, this is in the color 15 Fair. It actually looks like a really nice color. It doesn't feel thick or cakey at all so far. Liking it. To blend it in, I'm going to be using a brush that I have never tried before. This is the Setting Brush by Real Techniques. So soft. Oh my god. So soft. Love it. Like, <laughs> did I need to do a first impressions on the brush? It's not an extreme coverage like my NARS Radiant Creamy, but wow. I am late to the game on the Maybelline Fit Me because this feels so nice on my skin. I'm hoping this is gonna be one of those first impression videos where like everything is super amazing because how great would that be to find a full face of like amazing products? <sighs> I'm assuming that means the mailman's here. It was the mailman and it was for Brandon but Pretty sure it was for me because I think it's my birthday present. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of powder options, but I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. This is in the color Caramel Toffee, and it looks really like pink toned. Um, so I'm just gonna try this highlight shade. It looks like a matte highlight. I'm just gonna use that under my eyes because I'm obviously not gonna highlight with that. I thought it was gonna be pretty chalky because it is like a, you know, a little bit of a cheaper brand. I think it was like. 390 or something but it's actually not chalky at all and it doesn't take away like all of the dewiness that the foundation gave me so thumbs up i really like this so far and i'm just gonna set uh, my nose my forehead and my chin with the same powder next up for brows i picked up the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade i had one of these like a while ago but i wasn't really into it they like matched me to the wrong shade um they gave me chocolate which was like way too warm tone so i picked up medium brown which is like more of a ashy type look 
The pigmentation in this stuff is just nuts. It's so nuts. So I guess this isn't really a first impression because I have actually used a dip brow before, but it was like, I used it once and I was like, nope. So this is kind of, I'm giving it a second chance. Oh my, like, oh my God, look how like precise. I've been missing out. My brow game is officially on fleek. Okay, to set my brows, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. This is in clear. I like the bristles on this because they really like grab hold of the hair. Whereas the bristles on the one that I have that I use daily, it's I think they're like plastic, so they don't do that. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna seem pretty boring. Just hold on, we're gonna get exciting. From the same contour palette, I'm just gonna um, take some of the darker shade and I'm just gonna put that into my crease. Oh, I forgot to use this. Okay, we can still use it. It's um, a brow show highlight. It's by Annabelle. Just testing it out on my hand. It's like very powdery. Ooh, guys, that's nice. Ooh, can you see that? And then I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger. What are we gonna do if we get through this video and I like everything? Like, there should be a party of sorts, correct? The next thing that we're also going to be using is an eyeliner. This is the Annabelle Eye Ink 2 Mistake Proof, so it has a corrector on this end. I love the Annabelle Eye Ink, um, just like the regular one. Like, that is my eyeliner. That is my go-to. That is probably the only liquid eyeliner I use. But this one is, like, extremely long in comparison. I'm not sure how much I like the longer tip, to be honest. It seems like I'm having a really hard time getting it extremely precise. This is the original um, liquid eyeliner eye ink. The tip just looks like that. It's really short. And so I'm just going to go in and clean this up. I don't know if it's fixable. Oh god, it's not fixable. Okay. Maybe that eyeliner can redeem itself and bring us back to liking things with the corrector side. Okay guys, I would I would count that as redeeming. I'm 100% happy with that eyeliner now. Okay, next up to make this eye look a little bit more exciting, I have this ColourPop eyeshadow in Bubbly. Um, it's like a metallic pinky shade, and I want to put that like right under my eye. So let's see how that goes. I really, really, really like this. I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can really see it. So it's like super pigmented. I think I'm just gonna take my finger and like blend it out a bit. Okay, and since I have you in this close anyways, I will do the next shadow, which is Rumor Has It Swan. It is like a really shiny white shade. For mascara, I picked up the Miss Manga Voluminous by L'Oreal. Um, I have heard great things. Oh, the brush. The brush looks bizarre. I don't like the brush. Doesn't that look like a cat chewed it or something? Okay, so it's super thickening. I'm not seeing, I mean, I'm seeing length, but not crazy length, but it's an amazing thickening mascara, 100%. I don't know, I'm very on the fence about this mascara. I think they seem a little spidery to me. Mm. I just have this pair of Kiss Lashes, which it came in a five set, so it looks like I've used the whole thing, but my friend actually used two of them and I brought two pairs with me um, on a photo shoot and I didn't end up using them and uh, they did not survive, so I actually haven't put these on. I'm filming with like a little bit of natural light today, so it's gotten a little bit darker, but you can see the pink much better so moving on I have this wet and wild color icon blush and glow trios this one is in the color sunset junction which I think would look really great on my skin so I'm gonna bronze with this Ooh, ooh, it's pretty orange I think we'll work with it like I'll just use a lot less
for contour, because there's obviously not a contour color in that, we're gonna go to the Wet n Wild Contour Kit. I like it. I'm a fan. I thought that I was gonna like it because look at how like nice and brown that is. A zero orange and it's not like a dark muddy brown if that makes sense and with like pale skin girls like y'all know you can very easily like skip to being muddy so. I know I already said this but go pick this up. Okay for blush I've decided I'm not gonna use the blush in the trio. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys though. It's just a really nice like baby pink. This is the highlighter. Oh whoa that's so nice maybe i will use it should i use it yeah those look so good together and i'm looking at my makeup i'm like girl yes i'm surprised at how pigmented these are wow oh that's such a nice blush color okay for <laughs> so highlighter i usually just use the other side of my blush brush because you girl lazy look at like i barely touched that Oh my god. Oh my god, I I brushed it off and it's still so much. Whoa! Highlight on fleek. You guys need to like go ahead and pick these up because worth your friggin' money. So these are both by Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna reiterate this because I think they're amazing. This is the color icon in Sunset Junction. This is the contouring palette in Caramel Toffee and I, I love these. Wow. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Brink and it's kind of more of like a ready brown but I kind of want to have like that little bit of a darker on the outside. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go though. This is a NYX, soft, blah, 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 a NYX soft matte lip cream in Milan. So also I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I like this. I really, I really like this color. Yas, should I just leave it like this? Ooh, it's a little bit brighter than I thought it was gonna be, but we'll see. I wish it were a little bit darker. Mm. <laughs> I might run and grab a, just like a darker brown to go over this. Let's go see what we have. I have Lumiere and Bound from ColourPop. Yeah, I think Lumiere. I'm going to put Lumiere over it. to come back in and um, let you know that I tried on this lip color and I'm loving this lip color with this pink eyeshadow so I couldn't really put this in a first impressions because it's not a first impression um, I have worn this color before this is a ColourPop ultra matte lip cream in the color shimmy so if you do do this look and want to try something that is not as red I am loving this so uh, yeah get to it